Welcome back to another Mind Test Mod Review. Today we are taking a look at the Edit Mod. And now those of you who have been subscribers for a while um, may know that I already done a video on this, but the mod has since received some improvements and I had a request to make an updated video on it. So here we are. So for starters, let's talk about the, uh, the big improvement. The dynamic selection box is what I'm going to call it. I don't know if that's what it's actually called, but uh, that's what we're going to call it. So, uh, let me just cancel that. Uh, we shall start with, well, we'll start with, uh, I guess, the, the most basic of things. There are no craft items for these. They are something you can really only get through creative. Um, or using the give me command, of course. We have a copy. We have fill. Open, save, undo, paste, and a delete. So, let's start with the uh, with the delete, shall we? So I've dug this hole, and well, actually, that's the hole I was using with the, uh, the little selection preview here. So you can see we now get this nice yellow entity here that shows you which nodes will be affected. Um, so we have one corner in this hole, obviously. And then I'm going to put the other one on this dirt here. Now you will notice, and this was something that was um, slightly irksome previously. And it's the same behavior, it's just now you visualize the behavior. So if I were to go ahead and try to place the node on this dirt, you'll see it removes everything inside of it, but not the dirt. And that's where the... The yellow selection box really comes in quite useful. Well, I'm gonna be stuck in here, won't I? Let me uh, let me just get my way out real quick. So if we actually want to remove this dirt as well, we would need to go one node further away. Bada, and there we go. And the reason that works as such, actually, you know, I'm gonna have to do this. All right, so. If I'm on the same level, as you notice, I don't get any preview. I can't, I can't remove anything when they're on the same level. And that's because it is being drawn from the closest two corners. So to visualize, let's go ahead and place a bit of stone there and a bit of stone here, cobblestone specifically. Now, if I were to, you know, place the delete node here, which, um, let me just clear that out. If I was to place it where this stone is at, and then I was to place another one where this stone is at, and we can actually demonstrate that by doing the same thing, but placing them one node further apart in the world as such. Um, you will see that nothing is being deleted. And we can demo that again. If you're on the same plane, nothing is deleted because the volume is trying to draw between the closest two points of these, which, for whatever reason, on a flat plane, is nothing. It's like, it's from the bottom corner of one to the upper corner of the other, but if it's on a flat plane, it doesn't remove anything, which I don't really understand why that's the case, but that is how it works and the yellow box is quite helpful in seeing that. So, again, if we're trying to remove this, we're not getting anything removed. And if I actually want to remove, I have to go one node further out, so it covers the furthermost corner of that. And I would actually need to place it into this hole here. Because if I place here, the deleted uh, space is starting above this node and below this node. And uh, if they're one node height difference, it won't do anything. So I have to have at least two nodes of height difference. And there we go. It's deleted. Again, it's a little confusing how it works like that. But the yellow preview is very helpful. Uh, so let's go ahead here. I'll fill that a little bit. And let's uh, let's build a dirt tree. Because, because why not, right? So we're going to start our tree with some dirt. And then we're going to put some leaves on it, because that's what makes nothing a tree, is having leaves. I'd like to put one above it. I don't know why I didn't, uh, why I didn't give myself fly. 
to start with. That would have made this much easier doing all of these things. It's easily the best tree that has ever been created. There we go. So now let me uh, just stash those away. And we want to go ahead and copy it. So we're going to use the arrow pointing to the clipboard to, uh, to copy. So we will start by placing one copy node here. So that should get the bottom of this tree trunk. And then we will come up. And if we go to the top of the leaf, uh, you'll see it is not really going to copy anything for us. Oh, wait, you know what? Let's just go one space over. It needs to go there, so I get that leaf. Um, so now we have a couple options. I could go up to this piece of grass here. And that looks like it copies everything. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we should now have a copy of this. So if I go to the paste, and this is uh, this is where it gets really nice. Now, does this point at water? No, it doesn't. Okay, I am actually interested in how this is going to work. Um, I have to dig a hole, unfortunately. It copied the air with it. Okay. I mean, I suppose it's not too surprising. Um, I want to put some more of these trees down. Let me put one on top of this bush. Now, um, yeah, it's going to be difficult to get it where I actually want it without placing some uh, helper nodes. So I'll just put some stone there. And now I can paste it on top of this. And we have a beautiful tree. And then I just have to break my helper nodes. And if I go back up here, um, I think I can go ahead and save this now. Uh, and we're going to call this beautiful tree. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, um, I'm not actually sure how the load option works. So we're going to punch, right click, right click. Okay, we can select our tree. It's loaded. Uh, now do we use the paste? Trouble is, I don't know if this is pasting because I loaded it or because uh, that was last thing copied. Oh, well. Um, I should... Oh, that's a problem. So you can rotate which way this places, but you have to hold sneak, which makes you uh, go down. Press sneak plus right or left to rotate. Um... Is it? Oh, it's rotating. Yep. Nice. Uh, you kind of have to put yourself into a position where you can't move, though, for this to really work. Um, but you can see. Well, I don't know if you can, but it's rotating. There we go. We have placed a rotated tree. Why would we actually want to do a tree like that? I don't know. But I didn't feel like building a real tree. So, so that's why we did it the way we did. Now, there's also an undo, which... Uh, I don't actually know how this works. Does it just undo the last placement when we right click? So it does. How many can we undo? Can we only undo the undo? Yeah, okay. So you get one one undo. Which should really be all you need. Um, you should pay enough attention to what you're doing. So that if you're doing it wrong, you can fix it right away. Oh, lastly, we have the fill. I almost forgot about the fill. So let's say we want to hide this abomination of a tree. And we're just going to completely mask it. So we place same as previously. We have now filled it with sand. Now, has the sand actually just completely filled it? Or yes, it has completely filled it. So it did actually remove the abomination of a tree. So that's good. I wonder now. Because you have to have the item in inventory. What if it's an item that you can't, uh, you can't place in the world? Say, for example, seeds. Did I get any seeds? No, I didn't. But you know what? I'm in creative, so I don't even know why I'm searching. I can just search for, like, seed, right? Yeah. Okay, wheat seed. So now it's in my inventory, so I should be able to use the fill operation with it. We're going to go back down here to there. Um, and we will go ahead and click on that. Wait, what? That's crazy, man. That's, wow, I didn't know you could do that. Also, seeds drop grass since when? That's the weirdest thing. Very interesting. I did not know 
Because if I try to play seeds manually, they won't do anything because they do a check to make sure that they're on uh, tilled soil. I think it's actually done with a group, but that's neither here nor there. And I just realized that I have my speakers turned on, so you might be hearing two of all of these sounds, which would be uh, slightly annoying, but oops. This is this is, uh, this is what happens, I guess. So anyway, uh, you can fill with seeds and do really weird things like that. Now, uh, just for kicks and giggles, let's turn off creative and see what happens. We're going to fill a smaller section with dirt. Okay, it still fills everything, so it doesn't doesn't take anything from your inventory. Um, it just pulls items from the ether, which is what you would expect. But good to uh, good to know that for sure. Now let's uh, try to remove this mess here. So if I place one remove node there, and then the other one down. here, here I get nothing. So I actually have to do it to here. And I actually need to go into... Th oh, because I'm not in creative snow, I can't break the stone. Well, that's unfortunate. I could have gone down at least here, though. Um, yeah, so if we do this... There we go, we got most of the seeds cleared out of here. Um, I don't know why these dropped ones exist, because normally when you use the delete it just deletes things it doesn't give you drops such as that did that even work let's go down deeper I think it did yeah no drops so anyway that is uh, that's the updates to the edit mod uh, the big the big thing I think that's changed is just the the selection thing I think also the uh, the paste Nothing to paste. Okay, well that makes sense because uh, there we go. Because I closed the world, so the clipboard was cleared. So I can place a tree there, and if I sneak and press an arrow key, I can rotate it. Um, it looks like it's placing one node in the air, though. It is, yeah. I must have copied it wrong, I guess. Oh well. There we go. We've got our beautiful trees. Uh, it's it got a stone trunk, cause cause why not? Anyway, that is going to wrap up this mod review. If you're interested in downloading it, of course, all the links are on my website, which is linked down in the description as always. Or uh, I suppose you could actually just download it directly through the content browser in the MyTest client. I you normally don't mention that, but that is also possible with mini mods. Not all mods are on the content database, but mini mods are. And uh, you can actually just search for them directly within my test and download them that way if that's easier for you. You know, do, do you. Do whatever you want. But there you go. That's the mod. And that's the end of the video. Tune in next time for another video. Obviously, I don't know what else you'd be tuning in for. And I will see you then.